In this video, we're going to review a tool, a very good tool called Link Whisper. This is a very good tool at one particular thing, and that's interlinking articles. A lot of people get it messed up up here. In the master class, I had to devote like two, almost two hours on this one subject to hit it clearly, like to make it very clear to everyone how to do interlinking properly. But in this video, we're going to go over Link Whisper, which is a very powerful tool that makes our lives easier for internal links. And why should we even care? Why should we care about internal links? Because it does a few things. Number one, it gives the customer a great experience. And if the customer has a great experience on your website, it means they're going to stay longer. And if the customer stays longer, the visitor to your website, it means that Google's going to rank your website even higher because they see the on-page time is very very high. Even more importantly, right? Check this out. Listen to me. If one of your articles does well, if it starts to get impressions, it starts to get clicks, it starts to have good on page time, and it's internally linked in a nice hub and it has a nice bow on it, we are showing, we are forcing Google, this is what we think is related, right? And if that's the case and everything starts to increase on this one blog, it's going to pull these ones up with it and everything starts to increase together. That is one of the most powerful reasons why we internally link subjects, articles, words, rich anchor text, and all of that I'm going to go into in this video. Now to get the tool, you can go on to WordPress. You can click plugins, add new. This is the add plugin sections of a WordPress website and you can get the link whisper free. Right, as you can see here, a lot of good ratings, but I don't use the free version because there's some things in the paid that I really, really like. So if you intend on getting paid, don't download this because you'll just have to re-download over here. And this is how much it costs. We're on linkwhisper.com. Uh, for one site, it's 77 bucks. So if we click here, get started, but let's look at the features. Okay, all features. So everything for one site, get smart internal links, pretty cool. Uh, full internal links reported, and it's billed annually. So it's 77 bucks per year. Get started. Let's see what comes up next. Check out. Um, I only want one of them. And from here, I'm going to download it. I'll show you exactly how to download this thing. Now, once you're in, you'll go to My Downloads because you will have an account with them. Uh, go to Link Whisper Starter, one website. This here is a zip drive. Click this and you'll see it'll download down here. And then we're going to go back to WordPress. So once in WordPress, click Plugins over here to the left and then go here, Add New. Right? We're going to Upload a Plugin. See this button? Upload Plugin. Choose File. It has to be a zip fo file. And what we're going to do, we're going to find this one right here. We are going to click here. That's all you have to do. Install now. And it's going to install the plugin, activate plugin. So you have to activate it for it to be active. And then, as you can see, where is it? Link Whisper right here. So you've done all the hard work. Now, all you have to do is hit this button here, activate license, right? You see this license key right here? You have to paste in your license key, which you'll find by hitting this button, manage license. And once you've done that, it'll say, oh, congratulations, you're good to go, let's roll. So the first step when you install it onto a new website, you have to run a link scan. To complete the first time step, please run a link scan. Link Whisper needs this scan to show you link metrics, which is pretty cool, and provide advanced functionality like error checking and auto linking. Some people love that. So let's hit run link scan. So it's processing site links. Please don't close this tab. Otherwise the process will stop and you'll have to continue later. So that took mm, maybe a minute or two. It's not a huge website. So synchronization has been completed. Okay, and now we're in it. Now we've got some good stuff, right? Most linked to domains right off the bat, we can see we have a ton of YouTube channels and that's very true uh, on, on our blog posts. So that means that in a blog post, I have YouTube videos embedded into the post and it automatically knows that. So it shows us where are we linking to. And then these are internal links to Bonsai Mary because this website is Bonsai Mary, right? Very interested, but let's get into the weeds. Let's see what this tool is made of. Let's see how we can use it on our websites to get higher rankings to show Google, yes, this is a content hub. Consider this as the tier one post. These are tier twos and all the fun things that go along with this. Now, before we go on, you have to understand the structure of my website. Okay, it's a very succinct website in that, you know, there is 220 blog posts here, sure. But look here, I have two categories pertaining to philodendron, philodendron and philodendron questions. Now, why is that? 
The reason is I've planned this out. For this moment right here, I planned for it. I had this idea and I think it's gonna work really well. I'm excited to do this. So the philodendron, okay, if I come here and I click filter, these are just care guides. So for instance, let's view one of these articles, the ultimate guide to grow and care for philodendron, Florida compacta mariposa. Okay, great. It's how to take care of this, how to grow it, how to do these things, propagation tips. But there's also the commonly asked philodendron questions. I have a video that I went over this recently. I'll have it right here, but check this out. The reason I have these questions is they're very low competition questions. So for instance, how to start a philodendron from a cut-in, right? Let's view this blog post, how to start a philodendron from a cut-in. We have the YouTube videos as Link Whisper already showed us. So how are we going to link to this, this article here? Automatically, we're gonna to try to do it automatically with Link Whisper. Um, this is gonna be super fun, so let's jump into it. Here we are, we're in the auto link in section of Link Whisper, and what we're gonna do here, we're gonna type in a keyword, right? Keyword is gonna be cut-in, right? Because how to, how to start a philodendron from a cut-in. So we know that we wanna push internal links to this article, but how are we gonna do it quickly and well? So we're gonna do cut-in here, we're gonna type the URL here, how to start a philodendron from a cut-in, and then it has all these toggles. Let's go over these toggles, right? Add link if post already has this link. No, I just want one internal link, right? Not two or three. Only link once per post. So by default, link whisper, only insert a link with a specific URL once per post. If a post already has that link with the URL, it won't do it again. This is why this tool is very, very good. It's very sophisticated. It's a very good tool. Uh, override one link percentage rule. No, I don't want multiple links per sentence. In fact, it'd be best if we don't have multiple links per header. Um, but anyways, limit how many auto links are created. That's fine. Select links per, before inserting. Yes, I want to select them. I want to show you what they look like. Uh, you can set priority for auto link insertion. We are going to, this one's very important. Prioritize long tail auto links. So prioritizing long tail here, I'll scroll down. Prioritizing long tail auto links will tell Link Whisper to prefer inserting long tail uh, to short ones. For instance, the best shoes in the world would be preferred to best shoes. That's very good. If you read Google's guidelines on rich anchor text, that matters a lot. And then this one, so powerful. Restrict auto links to specific categories or tags. Yes, I want available categories just in philodendron, right? This is only philodendron. That's all we're gonna do, right? Now create auto link rule and let's see what happens. And all of a sudden we have possible links, 115. We just potentially created 115 possible internal links like that, super easy. So what we're able to do, we can see the keyword is cut in. All right, here's all the, the you know things we just discussed. You can toggle those still yet. And here's the possible links, right? Let's do here. So lemon lime perfection, the ultimate care guide for philodendron lovers. So in this sentence, after cut in off the section of stem, remove all but two or three leaves. If I click here, that can automatically be an internal link. Furthermore, we could check some more. Okay, unveiling the secrets of philodendron, this type. There are two main methods of propagation, stem, cut in, and division. Boom. But if I wanted to, look here, select all, create links. Let's see here. It's going to zoom, zoom, zoom. It's going to just push all 100, what was it, 115 of them? Let's see here, possible links, selected links created. And just like that, we just pushed 115 internal links from throughout the website and only the philodendron categories to that specific question article. Do you understand how powerful that is? But I'm gonna show you other ways to do it. I think that are actually a little better than the auto linking. Uh, with Link Whisper. So let's come back here to philodendron questions. Let's do this one. How to save your dying philodendron taking care of your indoor plants. So let's go to edit. Let's go to edit. And there's a reason. Listen, there's a reason why my articles are formatted in a certain way. Why there's questions, why there's just the philodendron care guides. If you want to get into the deep reasons of why we do this and why it makes your life so much easier, you have to check out the masterclass. Like I said, there's like two hours of information on internal linking. This video is just designed to show you how to do it easily, but it's not gonna get into like the super, super granular why and hows. But nonetheless, this is a really good workflow. So if I have how to save your dying philodendron, taking care of your indoor plants, right? And I just made this article and I'm ready to, you know, post this thing online. This 
workflow works really well. So Link Whisper below Yoast, because you know we like Yoast, below Yoast is this section right here. Look, you can add inbound links immediately, which we're going to consider because it's very important. When you do a new blog post, it's going to be what is called an orphaned post. There's going to be no internal links to it. So immediately you need to consider adding inbound links, which I'm going to get into. But furthermore, we can push out links from the article too. So you can specify when you're pushing out links from this article, links going out to other internal links, only show link suggestions in the same category as this post. Well, I don't want that. So let's just see what it's suggestion right off the bat. This below, add internal outbound links, right, is the first step. It's going to show us where it thinks we should push. Look, there's a bunch of them. Where we should push internal links out. So it says this article we're on remember this the specific article this one we're on how to save your dying philodendron it's recommended from this we should take this however taking care of indoor plants right we should push to grow in bonsai trees indoors no that doesn't work so we have to go through here however even this low maintenance plant requires some level of attention in order to thrive right uh it's saying maybe you should consider pushing it to this one right but what i want to do i want to click this here and let's do philodendron questions only regenerate. So now we're sticking in this particular hub, right? The category, philodendron questions. Now we're sticking in it. We're only doing philodendron questions, only internally linking to that. And sometimes you want to do that. So let's check it out. It says the philodendron plant, right, is one of the most popular indoor plants. And it says you should do here the propagation. Eh, doesn't look too good. I've noticed that your philodendron plant has started to wilt or yellow. Perfect one. It wants to go to, why is my philodendron turning yellow? That's a perfect internal link, right? Overwatering is one of the most common reasons why philodendron die. Wilton Woes, troubleshooting your dying phil philodendron. Perfect. And what's cool is, look at the ridge anchor text. It's unique. So the previous method was cutting. We just had cutting, just that one word, cutting, right? But this is drawn upon unique text. Uh, long tails type stuff. Philodendron plant is starting to wilt or turn yellow. That's really good. That's why I think this method, although it takes more time, is better. Now, something else really cool about this method, check this out. We have the rich anchor text, philodendrons die, or let's go to this one. Philodendron plant is started to wilt or turn yellow. If I click in here, I can change where you know the, the the actual hyperlink is going to lay watch i could click here and here and that whole sentence is blue now that means that whole sentence is clickable if i were to do wilt in yellow sometimes it's tricky sometimes i get a little confused with it but i can dictate exactly where i want your philodendron plant is starting to wilt or turn yellow now that's the rich anchor text Right? That's super powerful because you can determine what is clickable and what is not. And Google sees exactly what is the anchor text. That matters a lot for SEO. It matters a lot, a lot. So to push these live, all I have to do is insert links into post. And look here, post updated. Good to go. But now, okay, it's going to refresh. Okay, let's let it refresh. Success. Boom. Good to go. But now this one, let's pretend we have not posted that post live yet. It's still an orphan post. That means there's no internal links coming to it. That's a big problem. It's a big problem. You should always have internal links coming to new posts. So in order to do that easily is add inbound links right there. And then it's going to show us, check this out, how to save your dying philodendron. All right. What does it su suggest other posts point to it? So it's going to gather suggestion data. There's two ways to go about this. We're going to go off of its suggestions first, and then we're going to revise this. So it says, easy to care for. Um, I'm looking at the rich anchor text here. Indoor plant that's both beautiful and easy to care for. Uh, so it's trying to draw from caring indoor plant, but we need to uh, save dying. So see here, uh, save search by keyword. Let's just see here if save dying is anywhere on the website, that particular word, save your plant from dying. Perfect. There's one suggestion. We're going to add that link. This article here has save your plant from dying. Boom, add link. How hard was that? You could do different keywords up there, do different variances, but that's like a supernatural, perfect internal link. Now jumping back to the dashboard, it has a lot of good things. Link stats, link reports. We can click here, links reports, all these different things. But quite frankly, what I showed you in this video is, is the primary things I use for this tool. And if that's not enough, they have all kinds of things. It can show me I have 127 orphan posts on this website that absolutely stinks. It stinks, 
but it's purposeful because I have one of my team members building out this website and we're going after the fact and doing internal links, right? But it's very useful that this tool shows us, okay, here's some broken links. We don't have any broken links. Here's some 404 errors, errors, uh, orphan posts. Make sure you don't have any orphan posts, right? Just to reiterate, an orphan post is when you have an article, right? And no one's pointing to that article, giving it love. That's a big problem because Google's like, well, that's not an important article. And you spend all this time writing an article and Google thinks, ah, well, it must not be important, right? Big problem. So what else can it do? Domains report, let's click here. So it's gonna show us domains and we can have applied domain attributes. Quite frankly, I don't know what that does. Clicks report, I guess you could have, let's see here. Yeah, how many times people click? I'm guessing I don't use that either. Error report, no idea. The majority of this tool's success lies in auto-linking. You can roll with auto-linking more than I did. You can have keywords retroactively getting pushed via internal links. Like it can go even more insane than what I show. I like to be more hands on because I like more control on my websites, but you can click the auto link in, right? And you can get pretty insane with this. Um, you can add inbound internal links. It can show you, all right, sort by how many have no internal links or less than five type of thing. This is a good tool. Link Whisper is good at what it does. Internally link your website easier. As you start to build more blog posts and you have over 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 1,000, 2,000, this makes your life easy. Get your processes down now before you become even more sophisticated with more categories. I really encourage you to do that. If you want to go deeper, and, and keep in mind, I, I consider this video super high level. Like this is super basic and super high level. If you want to get into the weeds, check out the masterclass. It's an advanced SEO masterclass. It's not going to teach you how to make a website. It's going to teach you how to rank higher on Google. That's the focus. How do we get traffic in, right? If you want to check out Link Whisper, I'll have a uh, link in the description. It'll be an affiliate link. So if you do purchase their product or service, I'll get a little commission. Uh, that's pretty cool. Thank you for that. What else do we have going on? Right. If you like this, at the very least, please sign up for the newsletter. I'll have it as the pinned post, the comment rather, um, of this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this video with a friend. Uh, tell me in the comments, what do you think? Do you use this tool? How do you do interlinking? I'd love to hear from you. On top of all of that, we have Word Galaxy, which is a suite of products, um, AI products. You can create articles very, very quick. I have a lot of videos on that. Custom article workflow, the quick article workflow. Any masterclass member will have lifetime access to those, whereas it's going behind a paywall very shortly for everyone else. But I appreciate all of you. I hope this was helpful. Link Whisper is a super good tool, right? I, I mean, I'll, I'm impressed by it. Um, so if you are going to use it, let me know how it goes. And um, let me know what questions you have in the comments. And I'll check you on the next one.